Hi, living in Boulder Vlog for February 3rd, 2020. Monday, 11.08 a.m. Oops. Um, I, uh, uh, after I do this video, I'm going to try to see if I can get an, another Advair inhaler. I would have done that before the video if I'd have thought of it, and then I have to refile my uh, health insurance application. Um, and uh, yeah, so I just got up, it's like 11. I just had breakfast, I had a, a banana, an apple, and a protein drink. Um, so I didn't do anything yesterday. I took like two days off, the day before yesterday. I. I just went into the gym briefly with my mother, um, cause I was, I guess round one of trying, getting back into shape and really took it out of me completely. I'm in uh, worse shape than I thought I was. And, uh, uh, yesterday I was gonna work on my website. I was gonna read my stuff and write. I was gonna be fine, first time writing, but for a long time, but, um, my mom wanted me to go to her house to help her with some things. Actually, help her with something that was going to help me. I was this uh, magnet. Um, I have a magnet mattress. It goes on top of my mattress. And I gave it back to her because it was about to disintegrate. But then she just bought this cover for it. So she helped me put the cover on it to keep it from disintegrating. So I think I'm going to take it back. Um, but I ended up staying there all day long. And we just watched the Super Bowl together. Just the two of us. The entire Super Bowl. And she had beers. I drank like five of her beers. I just needed to buy her another six pack. But so I came home. I shouldn't have drinking so much beers because I was like kind of sickly, and I had insomnia all night long until the morning. Um. Yeah. Um. I hope. Uh, I hope that I can get rid of the insomnia. I think I'm gonna fix the insomnia when I get to the point where I'm physically fit enough to be able to exercise all day long to the point where I'm tired and not because we're the point that I'm at now I exercise to the point that I'm wasted but I'm not tired and then I'm up all night so that's why I got up late I was just laying there until sunrise and then I had to once I got to sleep hey, I realized I really needed to sleep and so um so I'm going to um today I'm back I'm back in business I try uh, exercising, get myself back in shape. I'm going to do a uh, half hour of stretching in the beginning. I'm really lethargic. I'm not completely waking up. Um, um, I'm going to stretch for a half hour. And then I'm going to do my erg swimmer for uh, my erg machine here. And just watch like YouTube videos. I want to watch all the... Hey, David Clay Johnston. Um, videos. I think I want to read all of his books too. He's he's kind of like my favorite scholar now. He's the he's the number one scholar against Donald Trump. I want to read all the Donald Trump books. Um, I want to read Very Stable Genius and all that. I'll do a video about it later. I've already read like three books on him. Um, hey, um, but yeah, today I'm just gonna yeah I'm gonna, so I'm gonna swim four kilometers. All at once. Um, on this machine here. Uh, hopefully after I do my half hour stretching. And then I'll. Uh, I think I'll ride my bike 56 miles. Uh, and I'll just. Yeah I'll just stay exercising all day. Until 8. And then I'll go to sleep. I'll lay down at 8. And hopefully uh, I'll be able to get my fitness back. Um, yeah so that's what I'm up to now. Um. And uh, as soon as I have some extra time and energy, I'm going to um, um, do the writing on my website. As soon as I, I want to get the surface level stuff on my website fixed up. And, um, and then put ads on it finally. But I want to do the words on it first. Make it polish it up some, um, but, uh, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to be, I'm going to have the energy to do that today. So anyways, that's enough talking. Uh, <sighs> I'm super 
like surprised with how lethargic I am today. I think that beers, those five beers, that was a bad idea. Um, but whatever, it was a Super Bowl. It was fun to watch. It was a really exciting, close game. Um, alrighty, talk to you tomorrow.